Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bill Doobie. Welcome to Thumbnail Hacks, the channel for thumbnail creators on YouTube. Before we get started, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps go a long way towards making more videos going deep dive into thumbnails. Today is part two of our series on contrasty thumbnails to get your thumbnails to pop and to stick out. This is the thumbnail, some of it, and color. My thought process was red, green, blue. Those are the colors used for color. You combine red and green, you get yellow. Green and blue, you get cyan. And then when you do the uh, invert colors, selection on my paint.net i got cyan blue purple red and yellow what makes this yellow here able to stand out against this yellow here is this yellow here is not a pure yellow and we'll show you that in just a second if i go like this and i go like that you can see 255 and 250 so it only has 250 of the green if it was 255, this would not show up. I also have a new type of drop shadow I'm working on. I call it the negative drop shadow. I'll show you a little bit about it. And here's a little bit more about it. I take my drop shadow, which has a negative uh, invert colors of myself behind me to get this kind of ghostly image. This is just to invert colors of this. Doing this is just a lot more difficult than it looks because I couldn't get it to uniformly just expand my whole body rather than going on a long axis. Uh, you can see this, this is a longer axis. Because of it, my whole arm got shoved out this way, but not at all in this direction. With a more uniform pose where everything is just coming out from the middle, you almost get what you want here. The way I got around it was, let's just do it and show you, it'll be easier. <laughs> Here's myself, let's make one to start with. We will then make it an invert colors. Adjustments, invert colors, now we're negative. Then I put myself over the top here, but I work down here. To get uniform around my head, I just go and I circle trace it. Well, let's get better circle, okay and I copy and then I paste into new layer which is control shift V. You don't see the layer but when I pull it out and I expand it a little bit I get a nice ghostly shadow behind myself and I continue through. Let's go to the arm down here and do that. Well we'll take not quite the arm do the hand first. And we make sure that we're back over the layer here of the negative image, otherwise I'll get nothing but error. And then paste in a new layer, Control Shift V. If anything, you'll learn the, and then just get it so that it comes right around. Do it again over here, down a little bit lower, we're over that, Control C. Control shift V, it's a lot quicker the second time around. And you try to get it so that you line up a little bit on the, take some practice here, here we go. And I want it a little bit bigger there. That's almost good enough. Let's just make it a little bit and then move it up. And then to correct this little part here, we'll just go in with an eraser really quickly. Let's make it a little bit bigger brush width. There, it won't show as much. And now we need to go back into here. Uh, go back down here. Let's do the upper part of my body. We go Control C, Control Shift V. Now with the shirt, 
because it's not a flesh color, it's a lot easier and you get more of a, a pop with the, with the shirt. Do one last for the lower part and we're done. Paste in a new layer. All right, we're in a new layer there. You, just, you want it to be a little ghostly and come up a little bit there. To get an outline uh, on this whole thing here is I have multiple layers. Just one, two, three, four, five layers. So we make that all into one layer. Control M merges down. It's a different version of myself. Go to the altered layer. This is a alt. This is the altered layer. We have altered and then unaltered. Now we go to the altered layer and go for a drop shadow. Object, drop shadow. This is where you can add different moods. For instance, right now all we have is black. So let's change it to yellow. And then we could go more green for uh, like say craziness, calming, more calming, party mood, anger, and just in between kind of excitement. So right about there, that's what I picked, I think, for the original. And there you have it. Whoops, I forgot to hit OK. <laughs> Reminds me of half my messages that I've been making over the last couple of weeks. All right, so where were we? Right here, and then go OK. It is me. Also make sure that you stand out from your drop shadow, or your negative shadow, I mean. And a way to do that, a small drop shadow using black. And there we go. Here's the finished product. Check out next week when we are going to be working more along the contrasty arrangement of objects on your thumbnail. How to arrange objects so that they're balanced, fill up the thumbnail, and get attention. I wrestled quite a bit between going with this one, this one, or there is one more right here. It just doesn't feel right though. <laughs> For some reason, myself upside down, a thumbnail hacks upside down, color this way, hacks this way. Join me next week. Thank you. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye.